Uh, no bidding. Anyway, howdy, 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 nearly seen your citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day wherein I am in quite a hurry. Oh boy, I have to leave here at like 7 o'clock to walk to my doctor's appointment this morning. It is 6.38 right now. I have been up since 5.30 because interruption in my schedule. I got all nervous yesterday and anxious because of that. I am nervous and anxious now, and so, yay. But I have my doctor's appointment today where we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. I'm going to bring up some things. I've got, like, moles and such along here that I want to make sure are not, like, going to become cancerous and kill me. That sort of stuff. So, yay, yay. And for whatever reason, I started recording, and immediately the edge of my palm started to itch. <laughs> Thumbs up on that. So yesterday was warm. Today is going to be warm. I got to go walkies for my health. It is early, so I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I'm trying to remember the things on my list because I don't have a lot on my list either. Oh, with everything going on in my head and everything going on in the world and with therapy yesterday and such like that, my schedule is a mess, my head is a mess because with my conditions, routine and habit are very important to me. Not because it's like, oh, routine, I need to have it, or, you know, I don't feel right mentally, but except it is that. <laughs> except it's not a conscious thing, it's a subconscious thing. I'm not making a deliberate attempt to do this, it's just something that happens. Hopefully that makes more sense. Uh, still, thumbs up. Checking the rest of my list though, there are some things that I wrote down yesterday and I did want to talk about today really quick and then I'm going to talk about creative stuff before I have to get ready and go. This is going to be edited and then uploaded and uploaded and uploaded when I come back from my appointment. So it's going to be a late thing today. Yay on that. But still, well, some of the things there is, there are some lefties that I watch and the infighting among lefties is amazing. <coughs> you know, there's Vosh and Hassan and then there's like Xander Hall and then there's Thought Slime. And the thing about Thought Slime is Thought Slime is a lefty but Thought Slime also, people are kind of really pissed at Thought Slime. And he's apparent, well, they are apparently not a wonderful person. Xander Hall is a younger person who does live streaming political stuff and talking about politics and such like that. But for whatever reason, Thought Slime has done a continuous and long-running campaign against Xander Hall because they think of them as like a, a leader of a cult. And so there's this big battle going on. It's like people are mad at Thought Slime because Thought Slime doesn't do this stuff and Thought Slime is mad at other people because of this and... Oh, there's a bug over there that came in the window. But it's just weird infighting. But one of the things that they do do that's not lefty politics is they talk about horror movies a lot. That part's cool. So even if you don't like politics, it's like scaredy cats and they talk about various horror flicks. Good, bad, and indifferent. I love bad horror films too, so I really enjoy watching their stuff. So look up Thought Slime if you like uh, horror movie stuff. I don't know about the lefty politics part, so thumbs up on that. Yay. But also, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I have, I have had difficulties even as I've done reaction videos, because on the one hand, I sort of like reaction videos, and on the other hand, I also see them as other people do, where it's just you're reacting to other people's stuff, you're not doing anything. I have largely tried to make my reaction content stuff just on professional stuff. I have done a lot of reactions to like YouTubers and I more and more and more I feel really bad about that because there are, there is a current war going on and I don't know how serious this war is between, I don't know how you pronounce her name, SS Sniper Wolf, Sniper Wolf, whatever the heck her name is, however you would pronounce that with the three S's in front of her name and Jack of Jack's Films. 
Because when she does her reactions, for if you listen to Jack, and I don't know because I don't watch her, he's just pissed because she's uploading content, takes off the watermarks, and there's no exposure, nothing for any of the people that, for the stuff she's taking. And her transformative content appears to be like, oh look, that car just rolled over. As you saw, the car just roll over. It's not transformative, she's just talking about the stuff that just happened without actually reacting. And so he's been reacting to her reactions and grading her reactions. Usually around F. He's pissed at her. So, thumbs up on that. But, at five minutes and change, the only thing that I can really talk about further beyond uh, is best I can do, which I'll go quick on this one. I have been throwing stuff out and doing the best that I can. Unfortunately, as I have mentioned with this whole thing going on, with the compression and, what is the name of that word? It's, it's the stenosis, it's the constriction of my spinal column around my spinal cord in my neck and how tight it's gotten, especially through here. This arm never feels good anymore. And toward the end of the day, it is just, it's not agony, but oh my gosh, is it not good. And that's just on a regular day, taking Tylenol and ibuprofen and cannabis for pain control. And it's not good at the end of the day. I'm moving stuff the best that I can, but if I'm not careful, if this gets too irritated, I'll be bedridden again. Oh boy! So, uh, I'm doing the best I can, trying to get this stuff done as best I can with the physical limitations that I have. I wish I knew people. I wish I had family. I wish my in-laws hadn't poisoned my children against me so that they would... I don't even know where my youngest is. They've dropped out and won't talk to me. My middle child, we talk, but, and my oldest child over in Montana as a uh, state prison guard. So, hey, ACAB, huh? But, because of all this, I don't have any family to talk this over with, and I am worried and frightened. I am scared. I am really scared. I talked about this with my my therapist yesterday. People don't normally and regularly just die under surgery. That's not something that happens. And yet, people do die in surgery. Sometimes, even under the safest thing, you can roll a natural one and you don't survive. It might be the most routine thing, but things happen. And so I have a natural grounded, based fear of not surviving surgery. But, instead of being a gigantic monster in the door that's grunting and growling at you, it is a threat that's present, but it's not just a gigantic thing at the door waiting to rush in and kill you. It is a threat. But it is a relatively minor one. Yes, the results of that, you know, death, are death. But, while that is a possibility, it is not that great hulking monster at the door. There is a chance you can die. It's not a standard occurrence. So, my grounded fear of surgery is made bigger by all this stuff to make it look like the gigantic monster at the door, when really, it's not. It's just my perception of that threat. Ooh, my stomach. So, yeah, still, I've got to get all moved before I can have surgery done. I don't know how long recovery takes from this kind of surgery, especially. And I won't be able to stay on my own. I will have to be put someplace. They can't keep you in a nurse in a, in a hospital because it's too expensive and you don't need that kind of care. You can't go home because you need care. The only real place for that is a skilled nursing facility, the Medicare wing of a nursing home. I've worked in nursing homes. I don't want to be in a nursing home. 
But so it would likely be at least a month I would be there as you know, at least one roommate. People coming in all the time. Noisy. Uh, so not looking forward to that, but life is up. The other thing that I have been worrying about, and not worrying about, but thinking about as I've been going around and doing stuff, taking a look at the time, is I've tried to be as creative as possible still. So, here is what I've been thinking about. For whatever reason, <clears throat> just as a few weeks back, I was thinking about my characters in the situation of Scarbad, Meliander, and Ulchenka, and I'm still semi-fixating on them and their situation and how to incorporate and fold it into the full new setting. As I've mentioned before, I have, for some weird reason, because of my game that I had, no quest, where the tomb that we were going into was called the Tomb of the Flaming Queen. Because of that, I still now have this lit character in my head with a full history of the character and the setting. Because now it's Senator, at the time when they were younger, they were Senator Jane Clarence. Jane at that time being a male-oriented name, so you're J for short. J Clarence, Senator J Clarence, who was the senator for this city, which was analogous to ours before we had a lot of electronics. Because they have electrics, but not electronics, their world is analogous, but not the same. They didn't have the same socio-economic pressures that we have. They evolved differently. So they have electrics, but not a lot of electronics, no great push for it. They're advanced, but there's also, while there's no magic, there is science and energies that we don't understand. And sometimes the best way to use these things are to have mnemonics that you have in your head that you recite as you're trying to cause an effect. That mnemonic helps you. Sometimes as well, if you have items and bits of reagents to help you concentrate to cause an effect. Well, yeah, it sure looks like you're making potions and casting spells, doesn't it? But you're not, it's still science. But Senator Clarence is a, was at the time, a follower of pleasures. One of the hedonists, but consent was huge. And because Senator Clarence was willing to fight hard for their people, well, everyone really liked Senator Clarence and their hedonism and all this. And yeah, they indulged in everything with consent with other people. Very important for Senator Clarence. Toward the end of their life, from 60 years on, they started really indulging in sorcery. While sorcery was not really looked upon favorably, everyone liked Senator Clarence. And as open as they were, Senator Clarence retired, as open as they were about what they were planning on doing, pursuing consensual pleasures, and trying to uh, form themselves into a lich for further continued explorations of pleasure after death, nobody really minded the fact that they were doing this. And so in their 90s, when Senator Claren was buried in their own cenotaph in this relatively new cemetery in their portion of town, relatively new, it was only a few hundred years old, they were put inside of the cemetery with all this stuff inside of their tomb sealed up and then others would his followers, as they prepared to die, they would go in and turn themselves until the last person of his followers was in. The place was all shut down, and then time passed. When Senator Claren awakens, the town, the town, well, city slash town of Calden, when he finally gets up and opens up his cenotaph, his tomb, and looks out, what used to be a large bustling metropolis, a capital, a political and entertainment slash cultural capital, is just an acropolis where there used to be places where people lived. There's now just mausoleums and ossuaries. Where there was industry, there's now crypts and tombs. Where there was, you know, not residential, not industrial, you know, commercial places. There's now just catacombs filled with the dead. It's a giant necropolis as far as he can see. 
and when he awakens his followers, they start checking out, and for as long as any of the local undead can remember, Calden has been a necropolis. Oral histories, written histories, memories, the only thing that anyone can remember from far enough back or written down among the ghouls and such is that there used to be people that would come in for mourning a long time ago, but that was a long time ago. No one's seen any living people who have come in to just mourn and see things. It's huge. The necropolis is gigantic. And so Senator Clarence starts gathering people and individuals as followers. They start building up their place, learning how to do more sorceries until, yeah, it's a bustling underground place of Senator Clarence and all their followers. Consensual pleasure. They're not trying to colonize. They're not trying to take over. They don't want to rule. They're exploring pleasures. And if people hear of the place and come over and they're undead, they get welcomed in as long as they can fit in and help the place out. And if you're alive and you find the place, well, they might give you an adventure first, but there's all sorts of individuals. Like there's Devon, who is a living human being when the adventurers find the place in the current time. Devon is a living person. He's been there for like 15 years. He's wearing one of the magical amulet things. This is like a nano computer, just storing all your memories. And he's gonna stay there until he dies. And when he dies, Senator Claren is gonna bring him back. The thing is, of course, when you're brought back, you're really dead. You're dead, you die. There, you are dead. But at the same time, if all of your memories are recorded, and then download it into a new system for you. Like these people are, they're basically infected with nano stuff that turns their entire skeletal remains into a nano computer. And it can download all of your memories there and you continue as a living skeletal being. But you're not really alive. You died. But the person who's got your new memories, they have continuity of consciousness. They remember being alive their whole life, and then death, and then now they've awoken. They didn't experience that. They died, but with continuity of consciousness, did they really? And so, yeah, Senator Claren and all of them, they have all sorts of devices. He has been working on things for centuries where if you have the tank that you pop inside of yourself, if you're just a skeleton with this tube that runs up, you pop the funnel in under your jaw, yeah, you can pour wine into between your jaws, pours into the funnel, down the tube, and into the tank inside of your body. What use trying to explore pleasures of the flesh if you can't experience the pleasures of the flesh? So yeah, you can drink wine, but not only that, with the magical stuff attached to that magical stuff, there's hooks and links, so when you pour that wine between your jaws, those little pads inside direct into your brain all of the normal things that you would feel from drinking wine. And so yeah, you can get buzzed and really enjoy the taste at the same time. And Senator Claren enjoyed smoking and all sorts of other things. And everybody's got all these little magical devices that you can pop in. Yeah, Senator Claren enjoyed pleasures of the flesh. There are various uh, things that you can strap on to a skeletal remains where you can experience a whole bunch of things that you wouldn't ex expect a, a skeleton to experience. And in 19 minutes and 6.57, I have to leave soon. I'm going to go through and thank how many people have left me comments in the past 24 hours. Thank you, each and every one of my Patreon patrons. You are beautiful and awesome people. Thank you so much for being beautiful and awesome. Everyone who has ever donated and helped me out, thumbs up. Thank you so much. It is appreciated. Let me call up my Chrome here. I've even got it in big text. j a y Oh my gosh, they did such a good job on Ruin. I have never been invested in a Five Nights and Freddy game before, but that one made me cry. I like what they did with Ruin a lot. We also have Johnny Flynn, I think it is, thumbs up and thank you. Tommy Nelson, greatly appreciated. Made in Canada, thumbs up and 
Oh, let's hope things work out. Oy vey. 77 Arcturus, thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. It is good to see you. Adrian Bryan, I know, I, I compare my political leanings with far too much of those people who are far right. According to the far right, I'm far left. I'm not even as far left as most lefties are, so yeah. We have uh, off-brand in the off-brand Fiji, it looks like. Thumbs up and thank you, sort of, mostly. It, it's, they, they were critical of my reactions. I've explained why I've done stuff. Thank you very much for your comments. RJ Mitchell, greatly appreciated. Chris Ryan, thumbs up. We have Nucaria. Thumbs up and thank you. There's Vicinator once more. Thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. I have had cortisol shots. Cortisol? Cortisone? Cortisone shots for my lower back when I first had my, my lower back issues. Oh, those, those made things so much worse. I am afraid to get a cortisone shot. If it gets worse, I would be, uh, uh. So I honestly don't know. Jared TG, thumbs up and thank you very much. There is Pop Blast, greatly appreciated. And uh, did I already thank Jesse Koskinen? Because, hey, Jesse Koskinen, always good to see you in the comments. It is greatly appreciated. Well, at 6.59, I got to leave as soon as I turn off this recording. So, oh boy. <clears throat> I'm going to be editing when I come back, rendering, uploading. Hopefully, you're all going to have a good day. So this is going to be late. What am I going to do for recording? Hopefully, a dagger fall thing today. We shall see. Hopefully, I won't mess up like I did yesterday. I forgot during my first rendering that there was a nude woman in the game that I was fighting. I forgot to edit out the nudity in the first time. Three hours of rendering, and I had to throw that out, re-render, re-render, and re-upload. <sighs> Yay. Still, though, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. <coughs> Excuse me. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing. I hope your day is awesome. I hope that I'm going to find out about things like my blood sugar and my cholesterol today, so hopefully it's not awful. 